can't let Ray get away with this. You're absolutely sure, though. Because once you've been a statement, there's no turning back. I know. I can't live with this hanging over me. It's the only way. Sorry to keep you waiting. How can I help? I'm here to have myself in. For the attack on Adam Barlow. You attacked Mr. Barlow? Yeah. Adam Barlow, who's what? Six foot, six foot one? It was dark. I hit him from behind. So how come your brother let us charge him with it? He's like that. Protective. And the fact he was carrying the weapon when we arrested him? He took it from our room to get rid of it. Just saying all this is true, why would you want to attack Mr. Barlow? What had he done to you? Nothing. That's just it. It's all a horrible mistake. You hit him over the head by mistake. I meant to hit him. But I thought that he was someone else. Who? Ray Crosby. Right. He had me backed up against the desk. He was undoing his trousers, trying to force me to. Do you need a break? It's fine. I told him that I didn't want to. But he had his hands all over me. Trying to open my top, ripping it. And what happened then? I managed to push him away and unlock the door. That's when I ran out and saw Gary. I know that I was stupid. I know that I should have reported it, but I didn't think that anyone would believe me. Because you'd had sex with Mr. Crosby before. He made me feel so dirty and cheap. Like I had it coming. What right did he have to do that? So you went back to the bistro later. I wanted him to hurt like I did. I had no idea that Adam would be there. I felt awful when I found out that it was him that I'd hit. I can't believe that I've made such a mess of everything. You did right to tell me the truth. Will Gary be allowed out now? We'll need to corroborate what you've told us, but um, he may still be charged with perverting the course of justice. What about me? Will I go to prison? That's not up to me, but attacking someone the way you did, even if it was mistaken identity, it's a very serious offence. <laughs> 